Hey everybody, Logan here. Uh, why am I not surprised? Why am I not surprised? Why am I not surprised? Welcome to Red Bandana Gaming, the channel where Logan will show you everything. From gameplay to gear, their crew is here to take you on a journey through every atmosphere. Releases to news, you don't have to choose. Red Bandana Gaming is here for you. Ah, uh, it's looking like more and more every day with a number of articles coming out amongst number of different sites and publications and whatnot that it's going to be 2023 until stores actually have next-gen consoles in stock. And when I mean next-gen consoles, I'm talking Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. So I've been, you know, I, I do my due diligence and I, I look up news and see what's coming out and see what's going on and what's all the scuttlebutt in the gaming industry so i can bring it all to you guys and more and more am i coming across not just articles from all kinds of different small and larger uh game out, uh gaming news outlets but i'm also seeing more and more videos right here on youtube but it's sad because there's no concrete evidence. It seems like chip manufacturers and, and electronics manufacturers are just basically saying they can't seem to make this stuff. And it looks like the shortage is going to last into 2023. At first, it was, it pretty much seemed like it was going to be, um, you know, just until beginning of 2023. To end of this year nope then more th signs were pointing towards middle end of 2022 nope it looks like beginning middle of 2023 so I'm not gonna name all the outlets and sources I'll just let you google it uh, just because I don't really want to put their information out there and give them credit for what may not be the truth but i, I just pre-ordered no ps5 till 2023 on uh in, in google just to see what other outlets are talking about besides the one that you know the ones that i happen to stumble upon so does that really mean next gen's actually started has it really started has it really though it's looking that, I guess, this current generation of consoles, this Series X PS5 generation, won't technically start till three years in 2020 to 2021, 21 to 22, 22 to 23. So what does that mean for the life cycle of, this, of these next-gen consoles? That's something to wrap your mind around. So no, the average life cycle is about six or seven years, correct? Right. We've seen them as low as five, some as short as three. Um, but PlayStation and Xbox seem to, for the most part, have a long, longer life cycle at least the minimum five to six years before the predecessor as announcer comes out. So does that mean these consoles are only be around for three years before they announce PlayStation 6 or Xbox Flabadabba? Because <laughs> who knows what the name's gonna be? Microsoft gets a little too creative every time and Sony just gives up on creativity. <laughs> so hey, it is what it is. Who knows, we might even see a Switch Pro, or a Switch 2, or a Switchy Switch, whatever we're going to call it, by, by then, which most people are already banking on. Oh. Now, what goes hand in hand with this, if you guys have watched the PlayStation Showcase, it looks like Sony's not going to have any PS5 exclusives until 2023. 
You're like, no, but they're coming out with this, and you're coming out with that. No, they're not. It's coming out on PS4 and PS5. So their exclusives are not PlayStation 5 exclusives. And they're basically doing what Microsoft is doing. People complaining that there's no Xbox exclusives. <coughs> Gears Tactics. Uh, we also have Flight Simulator. Uh, why don't you guys go take a look besides Halo coming out? Oh, and Forza? Oh, yeah, there's, there's just nothing. So we, we've got a, a number of great exclusives for the Xbox brand. Because Microsoft knows not everybody can get a Series X. So yes, smart delivery. And now Sony's backpedaling because they know if the game only comes out for PlayStation 5, it ain't going to sell. Because, yeah, sales for the PlayStation 5 are supposedly fantastic to the scalpers. I've said this many times. The scalpers are the ones buying up all those PlayStations, sitting on them in garages and storage units and, yeah, screwing over the actual gamer. Yeah, so Sony knows this. You know, no matter what your take on the company, they're not stupid. They know, yeah, okay, our, our consoles are are flying, right? But into the hands of a select few, which is sad. So those of us out here that are lucky to get it, maybe you're one, I'm one, there's a number of other people that have been lucky, but most people aren't, whether it's the PlayStation 5 or the Series X, and the whole debacle with the with a Halo version seems to be even crazier. There's been so many updates that I've gotten from people all across the world uh, telling me that U.S. seems to be the worst. But other countries are getting... Yeah, they're getting them. But each store is getting five, four, five. And, and the thing is, people don't seem to be able to think that they can get them so they're not walking into these stores. And most people are trying to do it online. Or they're afraid of, you know, mass hysteria on... We're not going to get into that. Um, and, and people are just... A, they're a scared to leave the house. And that's, that's what I'm getting from a lot of people uh, overseas. And I don't get that. Take precautions and you'll be fine. But... Um, yeah this is getting crazy so here in the states it looks like maybe even worldwide you won't be able to get a console a now current gen console which a lot of people are still saying next gen hasn't started until you can walk into a store and buy a console yeah yeah wow so it looks like the official start of next gen will be 2023 with the official end of next gen 2026 or 2025 i don't know maybe they'll uh lengthen the life with pro or x versions like we had an xbox one x xbox series x x how's that going series sx series xs i don't know <laughs> i don't know what they're gonna do PlayStation 5 Pro. That's pretty simple. I don't know. It's it's getting crazy. So for all of you guys who were able to secure a console, great next gen has already started for you, but the majority of people out there looking for a PlayStation 5 or a Series X, next gen really hasn't started. Um, and with no next gen exclusives uh, really out there, it's what, Ratchet and Clank? That's about it. Everything else is PS4 and PS5. So, yeah. So, tell me what you guys think. Do you think uh, this is all just crazy nonsense? What do you think is going on with um, with all these people trying to get consoles, not being able to get consoles, companies not shipping them, uh, manufacturing issues? What is your hot take on this? That's what I want to know. But just be kind to each other down there. It's been getting a little spicy lately. Um, just just be kind. That's all I'm saying. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Share this video. 
head on over to redbandanagaming.com. Check out our spring shop in the link uh, in the description below. You can also pick up my new book, A Cat Named Sam. Uh, Friendship is for adventure on Amazon now. Uh, that, thank you guys so much. Uh, shameless plug. But thank you again. Like I always say. Like we always say. There's still multibus. Multibus. Yes, because we are multibus. No, multiple of us working here at Red Bandana Gaming, even though it's my ugly face that you're always seeing. There's about three of us. But thank you guys so much. Like we always say. Be legendary. Thanks again.